Hello everyone, and this is Battle Phoenix here, and today we're going to be doing a response video to Snipes and Blades, again, but this time on a different topic. But yeah, he comes up with some really interesting topics within video games, so I really like that a lot. So anyways, if you haven't read the title yet, this video is about games that you love, but everyone else just hates. Which is a very interesting one. Now there's a lot of things that can fit into here, such as one being games that are guilty pleasures of yours, but I'm not going to get into those because that can be for another topic. Also, there's a lot of games on my channel that I've done a video for, such as like, you know, games like Deadly Towers or Jaws, where, you know, those games get a lot of hate, but I actually end up enjoying them in some way or another, but I'm not going to talk about those within this video, mainly because, well, I've already talked about them already. So this time around, I'm going to talk about ones that I just haven't gotten around to talking about yet, or at least not much about. And I'm only going to be naming three. I did plan on naming five, but it was really hard to come up with some, so I decided to just name three. And as you can tell, I'm not doing this on camera because I'm actually moving, like, very, very soon, so this will pretty much be my last video that I'll do before I move. But don't worry, guys. I will be back. I promise you that. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So the first one I want to mention here is Street Fighter EX3, or just the EX series in general. But EX3 is the only one that I actually own a copy of, but I would like to get the other ones at some point. So yeah, a lot of people like to say this game is really bad because, you know, it's the whole fact that Street Fighter is in like 3D rather than 2D like it normally is. But when you think about it, Street Fighter 4 is like this too, so really, it's not that much different when you think about it now. And personally, I think the game does play well. Now, obviously, it doesn't play as well as like, well, just for an example, Street Fighter 3 on the Dreamcast. Personally, that is my favorite Street Fighter game. So yeah, as for X3, yeah, it's definitely not like that good of a game. In fact, I wouldn't say it's like the best game in the series in general, but it is actually a pretty fun game, I won't lie. It actually did have some pretty fun moments in there. Also, I really like some of the characters that are in here too, like, you know, the original characters that stayed with the EX series. Two examples I can think of is Cracker Jack and Skullamania. Sure, they're pretty random and just ridiculous looking, but you know what, I actually really like that. So there's not a whole lot I can say about Street Fighter EX series, but all I can say is that I did enjoy this game for what it was. Also, it seems like there's a lot of fighting games that get a lot of hate whenever it's a game that's normally 2D and then goes to 3D, other examples being The King of Fighters and Mortal Kombat even. So yes, I enjoyed them. And now the next game we're going to be talking about here is actually a pretty recent one. It's probably the most recent game I'm going to be talking about on here, and that happens to be Mind Zero on the PlayStation Vita. Now the one thing that this game gets a lot of hate for is that it's a Persona clone. Now yeah, I will agree, it is a clone, I'm, there's no lying there. To me, whenever something is considered a clone, whether it has a lot of the same elements from the other game, or whether it has like the same vibe to it, or whatever the case is. Now just because a game is very similar to another game, that doesn't necessarily mean that the game is automatically bad. Because it's not new that something like this has happened before. Now one example of this that I can think of off the top of my head is that Banjo-Kazooie is pretty much very similar to Super Mario 64. And I fucking love those two games, so really, just because a game is similar to another game doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. So anyways, back to Mind Zero. Yes, it is very much like Persona, we can all agree with that. But the one thing I do like about Mind Zero is that they do take on a different aspect to what Personas are, or what they call in this game, Minds. Where in this game, they're pretty much trying to figure out what is behind the meaning of Minds and why they even have them to begin with. Also, it's a first-person dungeon crawler, very similar to the old-style Shin Megami Tensei games. In fact, that's what this game kind of feels like. It feels like an older version of like a Shin Megami Tensei game. And as again, the game isn't like the best thing I ever played, and it's definitely not the best RPG that I've played on the Vita. But there are still some pretty interesting aspects that I do like myself. Now, is the game for everyone? No, it definitely is not for everyone, but I myself did like it for what it is. But one last thing I'll mention is that at least the music in this game is really fucking good. So that's all I have to say about Mind Zero. Now, I would consider doing a full-length review for it, but the thing is, I don't have any way to record footage for Vita games, so yeah, that might take a little while. But either way, it is something I would like to do someday. So now, as for the last example I'm going to mention, this is actually another RPG, and this is one for a series that is, you know, much bigger. And the one that I'm going to mention that might surprise you is... Fantasy Star 3 on the Sega Genesis or in other regions on the Mega Drive. Now whenever you talk to Sega fans that grew up playing the Fantasy Star games, they usually like to say that like 2 was really good and then 3 sucked and then 4 was like a masterpiece. Now unfortunately I never played 4, but it was something that I would like to get into eventually because you know, I can't play every single game that's out there, you know? But I'll get there when I get there. And as for 2, yeah, it definitely is a pretty good game. Also, I played it when I was like, younger when I had a friend's place. 
And as for Fantasy Star 3, a lot of people I talk to usually say it's like the black sheep of the series and say that it's like really, really bad. But then after when I tried it out, just out of curiosity, I ended up liking it quite a bit. Now, it's hard to say if I like it better than some of the other ones because, you know, it has been a while since I've played through any of them. Also, I have to mention one on the master system is fucking awesome. But now, as for Fantasy Star 3, I definitely do think it does do some pretty interesting ideas. Now, I really like the relationship system where, you know, if you have, like, a spouse or someone, and then, like, when there's, like, a time skip, you, like, you have, like, your children, and it's always different. That is something I find to be really cool for something like this. Now, one thing that is kind of disappointing, and I can kind of understand this, is that in this one, you can't travel to other planets, which is pretty unfortunate, but at least there's a huge map to explore. Also, another down pointer thing is that the music in this one is not nearly as good as the other ones. But other than those two things, I still think it is a pretty decent game within the series on the Sega Genesis. But it is a series of games that I really do need to play through again eventually because it has been quite a while. So yeah, I definitely do think this one is definitely underrated for the series. So yeah, that's all I have to say about these three games and well, you can agree with me or not, it doesn't really matter to me because, well, it's all about our opinions and shit. Because even in Snipes and Bites video, he actually mentioned three games as well and there was only one of those games that I actually agreed with and that was Duke Nukem Forever. So this definitely was a very interesting topic for a video. And I think more people should look into his video and do responses to it just to see some very interesting results. So I definitely had a lot of fun with this and I have to say thank you Snipes and Bites for doing this idea and now I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and commenting.